heard breathing and I was like, you know, it's probably just like the echo and like it's my breathing or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the time that I, how do I explain it? Like, um, there was a, there was a ghost and, um, shit happened. So, okay, let me start. So, I used to live with my grandma, and then for a little bit, my aunt and my uncle lived next to my grandma. So, like, they were neighbors, you know? So, here's my grandma's house, and here's their house. So, I would always be over at my aunt's house, because me and my uncle are really close, and, um, you know, we would watch movies and shit, and, you know, all that. So, one day, I remember they left me home alone with um, my little cousin, and she was, at the time, she was like three, I think? Yeah, I think she was she was three, and um, we went downstairs so I could like serve her some milk and she could like go to sleep and stuff. She was just playing around like in the little living room area, and the way that the house was set up, it was like like you would enter the house and then like the the stairs would be right here and then, but like there'd be like a wall and then it would be the living room and then the dining room and the kitchen. So this is important. So she was just like fucking around like neck like in the living room and stuff and my uncle had this rocking chair I don't know if he still has it, but he had this rocking chair What had happened was that I was serving her the, the milk, you know And then all of a sudden she comes like crying almost like she's like she ran and then she came to hug me And I was like what and then she like she points and I look over and you could see the living room like it was right next to the kitchen so when I looked over the rocking chair was like moving and I was like what so and i asked her and i was like hey like did you do that <laughs> i was like did did you do that and she's like <laughs> and i was just like all right <laughs> so then i just leave it and then i tell her to go upstairs and i go upstairs with her too and that house always creeped me out like i would always get weird vibes i don't know like a lot of my friends that i'm still friends with right now will probably remember me sending them snaps and posting all my story videos of the door opening and closing by itself like it wasn't even like a wind type of thing like it would shut and then like open and I would be like in the room and I would just be like all right <laughs> and then every time I went to like um, the kids room they didn't ever sleep there but they would always keep their clothes and their toys in there like that door would never like it would slam shut all the time but it would never actually open and it was like there was a lot of echo in that room so like literally me just talking like this would like be echoey right and um i remember a couple times i like heard breathing and i was like you know it's probably just like the echo and like it's my breathing or whatever i don't know but that was also something that was really weird um my uncle ended up telling me he was like yeah like something actually happened to me with that chair and you were right because i told him about it and they're like no you're tripping and i was like i'm not but okay so i'm gonna tell you guys about one of one of my sleep paralysis encounters so i don't get sleep paralysis often i really don't um i usually only get it when i have a fever and when i'm sick and you know i'll get like sleep paralysis like when i get really high fevers i'll get sleep paralysis and it will just make the hallucinations even worse i don't even know if you want to call this like paranormal but i remember i was like seven i think and my grandma used to live and playas de tijuana i don't know if any of you know where that is but that's like one of the most haunted places in tj so many houses there are haunted and it's weird and it's like right next to like it's like a beachy town you know like i don't know but i remember i had a really bad fever and i was like sleeping i woke up and i couldn't move and like i swear I kept seeing like from the corners of my eyes because I could not like go like that like I probably like them I could not go like that I could not go like that I could only go like it was like my vision was like limited I guess and I remember I kept trying to look over to the corner of my eye because I kept seeing something there like just sitting there looking at me and I was like and I ended up like hallucinating i guess that my aunt came to the room and like tried to suffocate me with a blanket and in reality she was just trying to cover me up 
it wasn't scary, but it's like I have some like deep paranormal like experiences that I have had, but a lot of them are like things that could be easily explained, but it's kind of like, yo, this is fucking weird. Um, I always get these like small little experiences, I guess. Like another time that I, I got sleep paralysis, it was like a year ago, and um, I remember I was sleeping and I was laying there, sleeping with my I was sleeping with my grandpa at the time, and I was just laying there and all of a sudden I woke up and it was like two or three in the morning. I remember this so vividly, and the only reason why I knew that is because every time I wake up and I see the sky a specific way, like at my grandma's house at least, it's like. I know it's around the same hour, like between two and three. It's it's weird. I don't know. Have you guys ever woken up and you've been like, okay, yeah, I know it's like around five right now, and then you check and it's like five. Um, so I look and I'm almost like, okay, it's about two or three in the morning. I could tell because nobody's awake, obviously, and the sky just looks weird. And I was just looking at it from the window, and then as I'm looking out like outside the window to look at it, I try to like get up, but I can't. So then I'm just sitting there, and I, I had taken me, like, a while to go to sleep, like, to fall asleep that night. So I had been sleeping for, like, two hours, maybe. And I, like, look over to the corner of the room, and it was all shadowy, but I could see, like, this outstanding figure. And it was the guy, like, you have you guys ever seen, like, those videos of the guy with the hat or that you, like, that you see when you have sleep paralysis? Yeah, I saw that guy. And I was like, yo, <laughs> hey, like, fuck. He's just there. He's just in the corner. He's just chilling, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I He didn't really walk or, like, try to kill me. Like, he was just there. And all of a sudden, um, I start hearing the people I love crying. And that was weird. Like, my friends, my family, like, people that were close to me and stuff. Like, I just hear them crying and crying and crying. And every time I blink and, like, Every time I blink, I just see their faces. But have you ever seen, like, scary movies when they will, like, the screen will go black and then it will, like, show, like, a random, like, fast motion act that's, like, scary. Like, one second it's black and the next second it's someone killing somebody, but it goes fast. And then, like, it, it's, like, it goes black again and then it's something else and stuff. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it was, like, abrupt, mo abrupt, mo abrupt motion. Is that every time I would blink I would see like their face and it was like morphed and it was weird and I didn't like it and I I was trying to like scream and I was trying to yell and I just couldn't I, I couldn't I, I just couldn't and I got I kept trying to wake up and I kept trying to wiggle my toes but I couldn't and eventually I just woke up and I was just like you know when you just pop up from the bed and you look like you just popped out of, out of your grave and you're like uh, that's what I did and then my grandpa was like are you good I was like did you not hear me scream like he's like no so and I was like great and um I look around nothing's there and turns out that morning I ended up freaking puking because I was so sick but yeah honestly this video wasn't really like scary it was just like a quick little like story time of like a little snippet of um Weird things that have happened to me, not necessarily paranormal, but they're just kind of a little bit weird because, like, hmm. I am a strong believer in the paranormal, and I'm a strong believer in ghosts and, and aliens and all that. I'm not going to lie, but I feel like these are just, like, calm little, like, stories. They're not necessarily, like, chilling and scary and interesting, but, like, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it. And if you guys want me to talk about some, like, more scary shit, then let me know. By the way, um, I'm going to start vlogging every Tuesday, so if I can, it will be uploaded on Tuesdays, that same day that I vlog, or on Wednesday. And my birthday is in three weeks, so I'm going to be vlogging on my actual birthday, so you guys are going to get a birthday vlog. So, <laughs> by the way, thank you guys for getting my last video to like 2 point something K. That was crazy. I literally uploaded that yesterday because today is June 20, July 25th. Um, thank you. You're so sweet. And the comments made me laugh. And I don't know. But thanks, guys. <laughs>
Um. All right, I'm gonna go. Like, comment, subscribe, all that other shit, and bye. <laughs>